Let's talk about color and color mixing. This is our first example. So it feels like two ink droplets combining and merging at the middle. We have a sphere at the bottom, sphere at the top. The bottom one has a velocity pointing up and we do the opposite for the one at the top. Then you just need to set a color attribute to get your color here. Do the same at the top. And then VDB from polygons, you need density, velocity, and then point CD, you, you rasterize it into your CD. You combine both of them. I have a switch here just to kill the emission. And then you sim it, and it looks like this. To visualize it, you put down a pyro bake volume, and it will automatically detect under smoke. You can see you have your diffuse set to CD. What I do is you can put your density very low to just see the color the volume and then you can increase the smoke color. You're going to get a nicer preview of that. Or what you can also do is put a CD into the smoke like I did here and then control the opacity like so. I feel like this one is much prettier because it doesn't have the, um, the dark edges that you get from density. So how this is done, all you need to do is under sourcing, you need your color to set to one, or you can set it to five. It's just gonna exaggerate the effect. Essentially, you're, we are sourcing more color. So it feels like I need to put this a bit lower now. Like so. Uh, under simulation, you can control your dissipation here and diffusion. Diffusion will blur quickly how quickly the color field diffuses uh, each second. So you can see positive values blur, negative values sharpen. And then dissipation is how quickly the color will dissipate. So if you put this to one, the color will dissipate very fast. Obviously, we don't want that. So you put something very low and the color will stick around for a long time. Second example is pretty much the same, but I'm using the source shapes in this case. So source shape, blue, another one, orange, same setup. You sim it. In this case, they're a bit more violent. Uh, the velocity is a bit higher. And then you preview them. Let's put this a bit lower. Get something like this, which I think looks pretty cool. So these are more abstract than MoGraph examples. So let's take a look at how this would look for at an, uh, as an explosion. So I have an explosion with a few emitters and they have different colors. One is a mix of gray and black. This one is just more uh, bright. And then we have one that is kind of the color of sand. They're very exaggerated. So I just want to illustrate how the color would work in this example, especially with explosions. If you look at real explosions, they do have, especially dust, they do have colors that sometimes you wouldn't expect, like completely white or black kind of combined, like I have them in this case. So the way you do this is you have your pyro burst source and towards the end, here you just add some color i'm just simply adding a turbulence noise through a ramp and then controlling the color with this ramp using that noise and on the other two examples i just made them bright and the color of sand here we change the start frame so we get a sequence of explosions like so after that we did all of this before uh, I create influence, influence well on this side and all the other emitters here, including CD, density, pressure. Uh, I was volume rasterizing here. As you can see, just rasterizing all the fields and then merging everything together, caching it, and that's pretty much it.
that's how you can create some color and color variation with Axiom.